Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Released to the Xbox Live Arcade in 2012 and eventually fully discontinued in 2019, the game's updates span from Minecraft Beta 1.6.6 all the way to Update Aquatic, meaning there's a lot of updates. I installed almost every game version from the Internet Archive uh, with their trademarked 200k download speed, went through the changelog of every version, browsed the Minecraft forum, and endured various old clickbait YouTube videos to hopefully compile a good amount of glitches. Hopefully you enjoy, and we'll begin with title update 1. Furnace Dupe Place an item in a furnace, begin breaking the furnace with your pickaxe, and just before it's about to break, switch to your fist. The furnace should reappear when broken. Open it and mash A on the item. Eventually the furnace will break and drop a glitch stack of said item. This stack is just never ending. You can see me just endlessly filling this chest with cobblestone. Emptying all but one of these glitched items and dropping it will yield a 193 stack of blocks. This can also be done with tools and armor to obtain stacked tools and armor. Water and lava do not make sounds. Lava can randomly disappear when placed. Attempting to place water near spawn does not work. You can stand on top of sugarcane. Logging out on top of an item breaks your save file. You can occasionally take damage by dropping items while in a boat. It makes absolutely no sense. It sounds like something straight out of Bedrock Edition. Title Update 3. The game crashes when pushing a piston at the edge of the world. Title update 5. This update added loads of stuff, notably creative mode, so I don't have to test in survival anymore. Paintings can be pushed by pistons. This is probably useful for something cool, but sadly it was patched the update after this. Tools take damage in creative mode, except hose for some reason. T7. Experience orbs make the item pickup sound. T8. Cave spiders are the same size as regular spiders. Zero ticking a block into a lever will duplicate it. In order for the duped block to drop, you need to break it, then the real one, then break it again. TU11. Putting an enchanted item in a minecart chest and breaking it will remove the enchantments from the item. In a world six years before the grindstone was given functionality, uh, this is very useful when enchanting. You can also bulk disenchant items, which is kind of cool. TU12. Silk touching a powered redstone lamp will drop a powered redstone lamp item. This doesn't really have any uses, it's just a cool, unobtainable block. Using the seed journey will crash your game. It's just a completely normal seed. It's probably some number related seed error. I don't, I don't know. Fences look weird when attached to multiple blocks. The piston texture is also broken in this update. Silk touching any double stacked stone slab variant will only give you one slab. You will fall infinitely in the void if you are invisible. I fell for an extremely long time, but nothing really happened. Block transmutation. This will allow you to obtain six sided logs as well as some other glitch blocks. Look at your map and ensure your character icon is facing down. Place seven blocks in a line and build a two high wall surrounding it. Then place one line of temporary blocks like this. Dig two spaces here and fill one with a sticky piston. Two more sticky pistons here, then a block with a torch on the side and dust like this. And blocks on the sticky pistons. Place water and then remove this temporary block. And you're done with the machine. Place a log on this piston and then a torch on top and boom. Six hide of jungle wood. This works because of the number value system that items used to have in old versions of Minecraft. To get different items, you need a different sized water stream. For example, the value 7 gave us jungle wood. Changing the water stream to 6 long will give us birch wood. This goes all the way down to a one long stream, each size water stream giving us a different block. You can obtain a six sided jungle, birch, spruce, and oak wood, and also a permanently rotated jungle, birch, and spruce log. Rotated logs aren't in this version, and weren't added for a while, but you'll notice the top of the rotated log is rotated, while the other faces of the log aren't. This also works for changing the color of wool, and with slabs. A value of 7 will give you a stone slab with no gap in between. Sadly, in TU14, these blocks turn into quartz slabs, but this will allow you to farm quartz before it was even added to the game, so that's really cool. And a value of 1 will give you this really cool, completely smooth sandstone slab. Sadly, there's no way to obtain the item for this, so if you want to build with it, uh, your only option is to push it with pistons, which is unfortunate. TU13. The top of chests are visible through walls at a distance. Exiting the end after placing a map in an item frame crashes the game. You'll notice there's a lot of weird crashes like this in Legacy Editions. You'll see another one later, that's just stupid. You can obtain more glitched blocks with transmutation. Oak wood. This appears as normal oak wood, but it does not stack with regular oak planks, and in other versions has the name wood planks any type. Sandstone. These appear as normal blocks, 
and mining them in TU13, they will drop normal blocks. But mining them in any version later than TU13, they will drop. And they do not stack with regular sandstone, which makes them a different block. TU14. Iron golems will continue to attack skeletons even when they're dead. Uh, I think they should have left this in, to be honest. Anvil dupe. This allows you to dupe mineral blocks. Make two separate stacks in your inventory. It can be any size. Quick move both stacks into the anvil and quick move it out of the anvil. Then you should have two stacks. Quickly craft these down to make them real and you can just repeat this infinitely. TU15. Falling into the void with night vision active makes everything go black. The screen, your character in inventory, and any text on the UI. Just very odd. I, I don't know. TU17. Glass rendering is broken. TU19. The game crashes when breaking an item frame that contains a map. The game crashes when attempting to dispense lava into a solid block. The game crashes when placing a boat on a cactus. Stone brick stairs can be crafted with cobblestone. Mobs will not stop wandering when hit. Grabbing an item out of a minecart chest right as it enters the nether will give you ghost items. Craft these down to make them real, and the other stack is on the other side of the portal. I did manage to dupe a golden apple with this, and it gave me a real item, but I haven't managed to recreate it and didn't get it on film. TU31. Explosions at the world border repeat in a pattern. The blocks beyond the world border aren't real, and this kind of shows you how they work, which is pretty interesting. TU43. Silk touching the frosted ice item will give you frosted ice. This can be used for instant update lines, which is pretty cool. TU50. The inner dragon is able to use in gateways. The AI just kind of breaks when you do this. The dragon is constantly trying to fly to 0, zero but can't. Uh, killing the dragon like this doesn't do anything notable, it's just kind of cool. TU60. Placing a bed next to a cactus crashes the game. TU61. Placing water in a cauldron is really loud. <laughs> pistons can't move cauldrons. Blocks can't be moved by pistons if a sign or banner is attached to them. You cannot place a vine under a torch. If you place a torch above a vine, the vine will just disappear. Animals do not run away when hit in peaceful mode. <laughs> TU62. The inner dragon can be trapped in a boat. This is this might be my favorite glitch in the game, to be honest. It's so stupid riding around in a boat with the dragon in the fucking- This is also used in speedruns, because it's, it's very fast. Allows you to one-cycle the dragon very easily. Sharpness particles are replaced with raindrops. Comparators detect six power from cauldrons instead of three. Collecting water in a bucket past the world limit will allow you to place non-flowing water. This water can be exploded by TNT as if it's a normal block, which is kind of weird considering they don't disappear from normal block updates. However, relogging will make them disappear, sadly. TU63. The game crashes when looking at a cauldron while holding a water bottle that was obtained by fishing. <laughs> like, why? TU65. Signs with specific special characters crash the game. TU69. Quickly breaking and pick blocking a waterlogged block will give you the water item. This unfortunately only works in creative mode, but this block will allow you to have water in the nether, which is interesting. TU70. TNT minecarts will destroy all blocks around them that have a rail on top. This includes bedrock and obsidian. This is by far the easiest way to do bedrock removal, and on top of that, it also drops the item. I'm just theorizing, but with update suppression or something, if you could get a rail on top of an end portal frame or end gateway, you could possibly obtain the item. Like I said, just a theory, but if anyone knows how to do update suppression on legacy or any way to get rails on top of these blocks, please let me know. The ender dragon perches at whatever the lowest Y level is. This also kind of breaks the ender dragon's AI. It dives down super low and flies through the terrain. Uh, it also spins. Side note, the inner dragon is insanely loud in this version. And that's everything for now. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It took a long time to make, uh, around a month of recording. Uh, definitely nowhere near six months, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start trying to upload more frequently again, hopefully.